changes. There's our charming Charlie's and it is going out of business. 260 stores, gone. Another one bites the dust. Store is closing along, going out of business along with 260 other stores. This one is an accessory store, jewelry. They sell uh, perfumes, body sprays, uh, tons of necklaces, accessories, purses, um, little kind of cutesy type stuff. Nothing really name brand high end, but just, you know, more geared towards, I would say, what, like 16 to 24 year olds maybe. Um, maybe even younger than that. Maybe you guys have more experience, but this is Charming Charlie's. Let's walk over to the entrance. Okay, so we're inside. They have like, you know, sweet amethyst, things that say, you know, instant mermaid. I'm a nurse, what's your superpower? Those shoes are kind of cool for a woman. Popular ones I see sell all the time. Tons and tons of jewelry. I mean, all kinds of these, you know, cheap type jewelry. This jewelry here was $12 and everything's 50% off. So, um, you know, things like these bracelets, $14. So this was a cheap type store, you know, $10, $15 store and uh, couldn't last inside of, you know, safety first drink with a nurse. That's pretty funny actually. So a bottle like this is, you know, 18 bucks, half off right now. Um, you know, this is a huge mall. Look how big this store is. You're talking about four or 5,000 square foot at least, maybe even bigger than that. Um, you know, the rent, the employees, everything in a store like this is just, the overhead is just way too high, especially in a, you know, a full on mall situation. As normal with these stores, um, fixture information and pricing. So you can buy what will be, you know, the displays will be really good. Um, they're gonna sell this mannequins in pieces, but they'll probably end up selling, you know, a mannequin like this, which is kinda, you could use this mannequin, I guess. Um, you know, mannequins like that, they'll sell. They'll sell these, these uh, fixtures. These, this is tall, this thing's like probably eight foot tall. Things like that. Just for price check, those shoes were $44. So for a low brand, $44 is too high. You can get them for whatever, up to $22 right now, but I don't know what you guys would use these fixtures for necessarily, but, Somebody might have use for those mannequins if they sell them. So a store like that, that has give or take around 10,000 a month in rent, eight, 10, 12,000 a month in rent, employees, uh, electric, internet, they're tied into leases. You're talking about a 25, 30,000 dollar a month overhead just to cover that stuff. You got cost of goods, you got expenses, you've got so much stuff that um, yeah, it's impossible. You're talking about you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a day in profit on product that probably I don't know were they operating on 50, 60 percent, 70 percent, buying China goods, importing it, selling it for you know 15 bucks, they're paying two or three dollars for it. I just don't know how it's possible with brick and mortar when you're already behind the eight ball the minute that you open that store. So that's why stuff fails, and that's why Charming Charlie's is failing now. Let me go over to my computer, take a look, and uh, show you guys the story. In case you're wondering how hot it really gets in Florida. <laughs> look, 542 in the afternoon, look at the temperature inside my car. It'll come down, but it's probably 105 still, easily. All right, here's the story. Just pulled up the first one, CNN Charming uh, Charlie closing all of its stores. It's 200, more than 260 stores, 38 states with 3,300 plus employees. Charming Charlie was 15 years old, found in 2004. Liquidations will uh, last for two months. Sales on the website have already started. Now here's an interesting thing, uh, fact that a lot of you probably don't know. This could be a coincidence, but usually it's not. Uh, in a Delaware bankruptcy court filing, Charming Charlie disclosed that it only has $6,000 in cash on hand, which is crazy for having uh, 38 or 260 stores and saying you only have $6,000 in cash on hand. Um, obviously some kind of BS there because, well, I have more than $6,000 in cash on hand and uh, I don't own um, 260 stores where they just pay all the bills and there's nothing left. Anyhow, they did it in a Delaware bankruptcy court. And this is what a lot of you may not know. Many, many companies that you see that are publicly traded or even not publicly traded for that matter are registered in Delaware. Does anyone know 
why they register in Delaware. And I'll give you a, a big example. Facebook, you may not believe this, Facebook, located in what, Menlo Park, uh, California, is a Delaware-based for-profit corporation. Why is Facebook and Charming Charlie and many, 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 many other companies in Delaware? Anybody know? Put it down in the comment section. If you don't, I'll give you a minute to think about it uh, before you listen to the rest. Pause this video, comment it, and see if you're right um, why they would be in Delaware. And so the reason that they're in Delaware, hopefully you paused it and guessed, is Delaware's business corporation taxes are the lowest, if not none. It enables a lot of companies to get down to next to nothing tax liability uh, in the United States. Now, of course, they still have to pay tax. They still have that. But Delaware has ridiculous tax laws on um, the books for businesses. So if you type in Delaware uh, business tax laws and you'll look at this this is why companies um absolutely want to uh file in delaware and this is why they're called almost like a tax shelter here it is on investopedia a tax shelter is any method of reducing taxable income that results in a reduction of tax payments in the united states a tax shelter is loosely defined as any method that recovers more than one dollar in tax for every one dollar spent within a four-year period that's important too it's a four-year period for U.S. corporations, states such as Nevada and Delaware provide favorable tax shelters, which has led increasingly high number of companies to incorporate in these states. However, by offering slightly more tax benefits to its corporation, Delaware has skewed the number of corporate filings in its directions. Now, there's no state tax in Delaware. It doesn't matter if the company's physical location is in the state or not. So, hence Facebook and Charming Charlie are located elsewhere. As a Delaware corporation, no in-state purchases are subject to tax, another big one. Additionally, there's no state corporate income tax on goods and services provided by Delaware corporations operating outside of Delaware. In other words, Facebook and California. The state does not have a corporate tax on interest or other investment income that Delaware holding companies earn. If a holding corporation owns fixed income investments or equity investments, it isn't taxed on its gains on the state level. Delaware also does not have any personal property tax. This is sometimes a county level real estate property tax, but that tax is very low compared to other states. Corporations can own their own office spaces and reduce the amount of property tax compared to other states. The state has no VATs, which is value added taxes. It does not tax business transactions and it does not have use inventory or unitary tax. There's no inheritance tax in Delaware and no capital shares or stock transfer taxes. That is why they are Delaware corporations. Anyways, back to the Charming Charlie uh, story. The company did file bankruptcy in 2017. They closed 100 stores, came out of bankruptcy last year, April 2018, and they were unable to turn it around. They were peaked out at nearly 400 stores, uh, United States, Middle East, and Canada. And um, that's pretty much the end of the road for them. This makes over six thousand stores total out of all the companies that have closed in 2019 already and we're only halfway done the year a little more than halfway last year in all of 2018 5864 stores closed we've already beat that and we still have five and a half six months left so thousands more could be on the way out it all boils down to high rent high overhead employees mall leases it's all just too much for these companies to overcome they can't possibly sell enough merchandise and make enough profit to cover it all. So that's the story. Bunch, you sent it to me. Charming Charlie's will be out of business in two months. That puts them finalizing everything in uh, September. So if you want something, it's all on sale. Go check it out. Get yourself some stuff. Don't know if you'll be able to flip it, but some people have reported they are trying. So good luck with that and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody in the next video.